I will be in Florida for the opener as they raise the banner against one of their newest rivals, the Boston Bruins. Super excited for that. Anytime those two teams get together, it's pretty electric. Um, And then our finale will be in Utah as we showcase the brand new venue for an NHL team. Well, what do you think about Salt Lake City as the newest NHL market? I think it's going to be great. Um, You know, obviously it did not work in Arizona for several reasons, mostly due to poor ownership and just not being able to find the right solution in that market to get an arena that's accessible to fans and engage with them in that way. Um, So Utah comes in, they have a super engaged owner in Ryan Smith, who's really creative, pretty brilliant, quite honestly, of what he's been able to build outside of hockey in that market. And he's passionate about the sport. So from what I've heard from the players, the Players Association and the league, all the early reports are it is exceeded expectations in terms of what they're offering to the players who really were disserviced their last couple of years in Arizona. Yeah, 3,000 seats there those last couple of seasons playing at Arizona State. It was, a, it was a barn. And, you know, the players liked it as kind of a gimmicky thing. Like, oh, look, you know, we're kind of going back to our junior hockey days. It's loud. It's unique. But it's not suitable for a professional franchise. It kind of was like a Mickey Mouse operation, if we want to use an old hockey term of what they called the devils back in the day. Um, but now they're really getting a professional setup. And I think that they're going to show it in a big way. From what I understand about the arena, too, it's kind of a bowl setting. So it'll get really loud and They're just getting started, you know, still on the renovation. So it's not the finished product yet, but it'll be far more professional than what we've seen the last couple of years. Well, it's an NBA arena. Like you said, they're going to be pumping millions of dollars into the upgrades there. Ryan Smith spending a lot of money to make that NBA and NHL accessible. 